Hello, I'm John, gardener on the North Farm here. For my demonstration on an already tree pasted tree, but I have to do some repair because we had about 90 mils of rain a few days ago and some of it washed off. So I'm going to demonstrate cleaning off a trunk of a tree. This is a nectarine that we're setting up as a, an espalier specimen against the fence here. I'm going to clean it up with a wire brush. You can use any sort of wire brush. This is a particularly good one because it's, it's narrow. And I'm taking off some of the flaked paste that we put on before. Now, if there's moss or lichen or something that you, that's going to get in the way of the tree paste, well, this is what you need to do beforehand. Now with, with the paste, I prefer to use my hands because A, it's more sensitive to, you know, the ins and outs of the bark and the holes and the gaps. And secondly, you don't waste so much. If I use a brush, it could be a plaster brush, it could be a big paint brush or a hearth brush like this, I find a lot gets on the ground and, you know, why waste it? You pay good money for it. So I tend to use my hands. Just take a little bit in your hand and we're trying to make sure it's an even coverage. You notice there's not much falling on the ground. If it does, it's only a little bit. So that's the technique. You want a fairly even coverage but you want to get in the holes and for instance if, if there's a hole there like that I'll fill it up with my fingers and down here so that there's a total coverage. But not only on the trunk but also on the twigs. Now you can see this has already been done but I can see parts that I missed even on this here and even out on the small twigs as long as you don't break off the little buds because there are blossoms coming on this shortly for fruit and then knock those off so you'll be very careful and that's the one thing with your hands you can you can actually use that gentle touch. You want a good coverage right out as far as you can go without disturbing those little buds. So you really, you're, it's quite a delicate operation. And there we go. So, like the TV cooking shows, hey, already done one. <laughs> and that's the way it is. And, and the tree paste I found in this small orchard here, with about eight trees, or maybe ten trees, that sort of bucket is, is just right. It's enough to do them all. And a uh, ten kilo bucket, maybe a little more just to finish it off. So they're, they're done. That's the way I do it. And what do you do with that? Wash your hands. Now you have fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. And that's as simple as it is. This tree is a miracle. It's a tropical apple. And two years ago it was about this thick in its main stem and dying. It was virtually dead. We had a workshop here in this orchard, an orchard management and um, pruning workshop, and we decided to give it a go. So we cleaned it up. It had woolly aphis, which was infesting it, and um, actually it was killing it from the cambium layer. It, was, it had penetrated deeply. So we, we pruned this little stick of a thing and we pasted it and last year it started to come good until it actually grew right up towards the net and this year we're absolutely amazed it's actually got blossom on it or about to get blossom on it. It's in a very healthy state so we've just recently pruned it and re-tree pasted it and we're very hopeful this is a great success. We're very, very proud of it. We're only sorry we didn't have the before shots. <laughs>